So this is Cosette. Um, she's gonna be all wrapped up for her syringe feeding. So I'm just gonna take the towel, cover up her back, and then do the sides of the towel. So she is, she is not gonna go anywhere. And then when I'm syringe feeding, what I'll do is I'll kinda sink into my body there and then use my elbow and my forearm to kinda squish her even more, if you will. So my elbow is about on her hips and then I have my hand um, near her face so I can hold that as well. So she's not gonna back up and she's not gonna go forward. Um, and then what I'll do with my hand is I'll just slip it underneath her jaw there. So I have my fingers wrapped all the way around and my thumb on top of her head so she she can't buck or get anywhere. Um, and then I can just kinda move her head as I need it for the syringe feeding. So with our syringes, what I usually do is I find her little nosy and I go in between the crack in her lips there and then I find her incisors, which you can see, oh, I know, you can see there. And then I'll go immediately to one side or the other of her incisors. And then once I'm in her mouth, I'll probably go to the, about the 0.3 area of my syringe before I start depressing, just so I make sure it's in her mouth enough and it won't just fall right out. So go like that, there you go. And she'll start chewing because she's like, what is this? And then I'll start here we go. You can follow it up with a larger syringe if she'll let you. There we go. And it's okay if a little bit of spillage happens, we just want to account for that. So if about a mil falls out, we want to follow it up with another mil just to make sure we get the whole amount into her. There we go. And then if she gets some on her face or her paws, it, um, comes off really nicely with just a warm wet washcloth.